hey guys so far we have talked about distance and displacement and we have also looked at how to draw displacement vectors okay today we are going to look at another topic called average speed and average velocity now we are familiar with the word speed for like when suppose you're going on a vehicle you know the speedometer right it tells you how fast you are going it is pretty much the same just a little different uh, so now i have given i have drawn a small scenario over here it is a part of a journey okay it's a person traveling from a all the way till d but taking this path all right it's a very curvy path it's not a straight line so a to b b to c and c to d okay i am going to assume that the distance between a and b is say 30 kilometers okay kilometer we know right so i'm going to assume it as 30 kilometers uh, i'm going to assume the distance between b and c as uh, let's say 40 uh, kilometers okay all right between b and c now I'm going to assume the distance between C and D as 50 kilometers. Okay. So there is a person who traveled from A to B, B to C, C to D over this whole path. So now one thing I can do is I can find out exactly how far is this travel basically i want to see what is the distance that is traveled by this person okay so i know that a to b is nothing but 30 kilometers of distance i know b to c is 40 kilometers and i know c to d is nothing but 50 kilometers right so to find out total i can simply add all the numbers right so i can say 0 and 12 right so from a to d all the way i can say that the distance covered is nothing but 120 kilometers okay So now I am going to assume that uh, this whole journey takes total time of 6 hours ok. So this is the total distance not simply just distance this is the total distance right ok. I will also assume that total time is 6 hours ok. So I can take 6 hours maybe something like this is for uh, 1 hour, I will say this takes 2 hours and this takes 3 hours, something like that, ok. It does not really matter, or all that matters is total time is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is nothing but 6 hours, alright. So now when I look at the word speed, speed to me is nothing but how much distance is covered in how much time. Okay, If you notice uh, whenever you look at your bike or vehicle it will say kilometer per hour. right? So much in the same way all I need to figure out is how much distance is covered in how much time. That is nothing but my average speed. Okay, In a case like this that is nothing but my average speed so the formula for average speed is total distance divided by total time okay so total distance is nothing but 120 kilometers 
divided by total time is 6 hours so 6 hours okay so I can simply say average speed is nothing but 1 120 divided by 6 6 2s are 12 and 0 is remaining 20 so I can say it is 20 and for units I look at this okay kilometer divided by hour kilometers per hour okay so now this is how I find average speed this is the first thing we learned today average speed is total distance by total time Now, we know that other than distance, there is another term that is displacement. Okay, so instead of using distance, I can also use displacement. First thing I do need to do is find out what is the displacement. Okay, so I will assume that the distance from A to D. Remember how we drew the vector? We are going to draw a straight line. Cuts like an arrow. Right? From A to D all the way to D. I'll assume that this displacement uh, I'll assume is something like 60 kilometers okay or let's say 90 kilometers. So I will say AD arrow okay the arrow will tell me that it is a vector AD is nothing but 90 kilometers okay so I know that my total displacement equals to 90 kilometers okay the amount of time that I took to go from A to D is still 6 hours right so I will say that total time is still the same 6 hours there is only one journey so the time is the same ok so I can say that there is a formula where I use instead of distance I will use total displacement ok divided by total time this is nothing but what we call as average velocity okay it is a word you might have heard in physics before velocity so if speed is distance by time velocity is displacement by time that is the only difference between these two again velocity has a direction because displacement has a direction right a to d so velocity also has a direction Okay, so this is nothing but 90 divided by 6. So if I do that, I will get uh, 6 1s are 6, 6 5s are 30, right? So I will get 15 kilometers per hour. Okay, so my average velocity and average speed are now found out. Okay, it is very uh, simple. You just need to remember which one is which. Okay, so I am going to give you a couple more example problems like this which i can put on the screen okay i'm going to need you to find out the answers in the same way right the steps i'm going to repeat again whenever a path is given figure out what is the total distance what is the total time taken then if we divide total distance by total time you get average speed if you dis di uh, divide total displacement by total time you get velocity and for displacement we find the direct distance between these two cases 
क्लियर